Hey guys, this is Evelyn from DMC. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can actually activate or turn on the dark mode settings for your Google Docs, right? So, when the moments that you're actually doing the um, new editings on your Google Doc, at least uh, it's no longer the default, um, you know, color backgrounds of uh, gray and white backgrounds, and you can actually right now turn it on on your, um, you know, with the dark mode settings. So, let's go into the step by steps. So usually when you're using Google Docs on your um, laptop or PC, right, um, the default Google Doc you'll be looking at something like this, right? Uh, white backgrounds, you know, white, uh, bright, kind of like uh, header backgrounds and everything, yeah? So how do you actually change it to a dark mode on your Google Docs, yeah? So what you can do is that if you're using a PC, yeah, you can just go to Google and search for a Chrome extension. So Google Doc, uh, dark mode expansion okay so you can actually just um, you know search for these and you're going to install this one okay google do google doc dark mode extension yeah so you can see it's actually a extension over right here and what you can do is that you can just uh, you know come here and install this yeah so you can see that it's over 50,000 of users. You can just come here at Chrome. So you can see the previews down here, right? Um, everything will be uh, changed to dark mode, um, you know, if, if you install this, yeah? So you can just come here at the Chrome and add an extension, okay? Once you add it, you will prompt this message over right here saying that it's already added, yeah? So now you can just go to your Google Chrome I'm just going to open another tab again for you to see the difference, yeah? So this is before, before I actually uh, change and um, activate my dark mode, yeah? Okay, so you can see that this is right after I activated the dark mode, um, you know, on the back here, everything, settings, you know, including all this, um, is pretty much already changed to, um, you know, black color. So some of the text, you know, it will be slightly harder, a little bit for you to see, but majority of the settings, you know, it will be converted into, you know, um, uh, white wording and, you know, black background and things like that, yeah? Now, only things that is not, not changing is this is the text, uh, text file area, yeah? So when the moment that you are typing so over right here, you know, uh, it was still showing as white background and your text is still in a black color. reason behind is that, when the moments that you actually save or export, you know, the document and everything, it will be remain as the original format. Yep. So why but yep. So this is pretty much on how you can actually change your, your Google Doc um and convert and turn on your Google Doc um dark modes, right? But when the moments that you want to turn it off, how do you do that, right? You can actually just go ahead and um you know, manage your uh, extensions over right here. So you can see these little icons right here. If you don't have that much of icon like mine, right, you can just click on, I mean, you can just, you know, can see the icons right here. But, you know, for my case, you will see, see this one. So when the moment that you don't want the, um, what do you call that, the, the, the Google Doc Dark Mode uh, extension, you can just come here and you will see this, okay, the more action, you can just come here and remove from Chrome. Okay, so once I remove, I will remove from here and let me just do a refresh again. Okay, so, so what you can see is that right after I remove the extension, it will be back to the original version. Yep, so that's all that I want to share with you in this video. Um, you can leave a comment below and let me know whether or not uh, it successfully helped you to convert your Google Doc into a dark mode version. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, remember to leave your comment below. Help us like and share. If you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive notifications when we launch our new video. See you in the next video.